Welcome to the Safety Solutions Academy YouTube channel and of course to my underground lair. Unfortunately, progress on the lair is coming hmm, extremely slowly. We're hopefully going to make some progress in the next week, get some actual lighting in here, get some sound dampening up on the walls, get things painted. I'll show you what's going on uh, when it happens, but nothing's really changed, unfortunately. What hasn't been coming along slowly, though, is some of the things that I've been working on since the National Association of Sporting Goods Wholesalers show in Orlando, Florida. Just got back from a Thanksgiving trip down to Florida, and there was a box on the porch. Let's see here. I don't know if you can read uh, who this is from. I guess it's kind of blurry, but it says Trigicon in there. Yeah, I talked to Nick from Trigicon. Maybe you saw the video on my YouTube channel. And Nick and some other folks at Trigicon, Zach, thanks for your help as well, got me set up with a Trigicon RMR to demo on my pistol. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of an unboxing here. We'll get the stuff out. A couple of things inside. First of all, we've got a Trigicon box. And we've got a folder with all of the important Trigicon media information uh, for me to do my job with. Uh, looks like we've got a 90-day testing and evaluation cycle set up. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. It's going to take some time to get the pistol actually mounted up and ready to go. So we may need some more time with that, but we'll talk with Trigicon and we can deal with that later. You can see a really cool case that the RMR comes in. You know, kind of looks like a mini Pelican box. Doesn't feel quite as sturdy. I think if I were to stand up on it, I might crush the darn thing. But the good news is, as Nick showed us, the uh, RMR that's inside the box is way more sturdy than probably this box is. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at what's inside. Oh, maybe... Yeah, there we go. We're looking at an RMR Model 1. It's going to be a 3.25 MOA LED red dot. It's got a black housing on it. Don't care about that. Um, two things that are important to note here. The RMR01 comes in either a 3.25 or a 6 point something MOA dot. Um, this is the small of the two dots. allows for a little bit more precision. That's really not all that important to me. What's important is that I'm able to see that dot, get the shots on target when I need to. Second of all, it's the LED version. This is a battery-operated version of the RMR. Uh, it is not the adjustable version. When I talked with Nick about it, he suggested going just with a straight LED. That The adjustable was nice, but certainly not necessary. So it uh, looks like that's what the folks at Trigicon did. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now, I don't know if this is going to stay clear or not. Um, you can see the uh, little RMR in my hand here. Not a very big specimen, pretty small. It's been sitting outside for a few days on the, uh, on the porch. You can see on the bottom, no battery installed as of right now. But that's... Uh, where the battery would go, and then this would mount on top of the pistol. Let's see what else is in the box here other than the RMR itself. Uh, oh, cool. Trigicon sticker, definitely necessary. Some uh, screws and an Allen wrench to go ahead and put those in. Here's our battery. So that's what we're going to use to fire up that LED. No on or off switch. The battery's in, it's on all the time. Uh, Trigicon product summary form, warranty registration, which we won't be needing, and then an operator's manual for the RMR sites. Uh, interesting that there's no mounting option here in the box. That's it. That's all that it came with, it looks like. Maybe there's something under here. Nope. Top is empty as well. So uh, we're going to have to do something about getting this mounted on the pistol. I'm guessing that uh, maybe the mounting tools are on their way. But this is the Trigicon RMR01. Got to say I'm fired up to have the opportunity to test one of these things. We've got a pistol set aside to do the work on, to get it set up, ready to go. You can definitely be sure you're going to see a lot more video, a lot more information about this little guy as this testing goes on. Folks, uh, whenever you get something new like this, you definitely need to get on out there get yourself some training. When you do, make sure you keep it simple. Please stay safe. And as always... Have a great day.